Once upon a time, there was a guy named Quentin Tarantino who decided to make a film called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I thought, oh my god, it paid off. A lot it paid off for me, at least. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, and tells the story of a guy named Radcliffe, I think, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, um, and his stunt double, played by Brad Pitt. Um, and, you know, by classic Quentin Tarantino style, all these stories that happen with them merge together into the final act. And, yeah, so, let's start off with the positives of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The best thing about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. They are fantastic in this movie. I'm going to say right now, maybe my favorite performance of the year by these two actors. The bromance that they have is just amazing. The acting is incredible. Brad Pitt has amazing moments in this movie. Leonardo DiCaprio has great emotional moments in some parts of the movie. And has great, like, awesome, like, whippy moments in the film. Um, Margot Robbie, um, she is very good in the film. She does play Sharon Tate, who was drastically murdered on one night, which I won't get into on this channel. Um, she, her acting is very good. She does fit into the story quite well. Um, um, and yeah, overall, just all the th the main characters and all, some side characters, like Bruce Lee makes a hilarious, hilarious, like, kind of cameo in the movie. And it is very funny. This movie is hilarious. There's a certain scene with, like, Bruce Lee and, Bla Bruce Lee and Brad Pitt, like, in the first, like, hour, hour and 15 minutes of this movie. It is hilarious. And the stuff in the final act that is super freaking funny. All the jokes land are hilarious. This movie is super funny. Um, and another thing, this movie takes place in 1969. Quentin Tarantino did a fantastic job, in my opinion, of just, like, capturing the 60s. Like, every, like, almost every single scene ends, like, every single scene in this movie pretty much ends with a 1960s song. And I think he does a great job, Quentin Tarantino does, a great job of capturing, like, the 60s in this film. Another great thing about this movie in my opinion is some of the cinematography like some like sunlight flares when like they're filming movies it looks great so i really like the cinematography in the film and all the movie relating stuff in this movie is pretty funny and really just overall cool to watch like there are scene, there's a scene in this movie where it just lays well there's just a shot that just is on a tv and it's on a show where the two characters, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio, appear in. And it just has, like, commentary of them in the background watching it, waiting for their parts to come. And it's very funny. And it's kind of relatable, because that's what I do when I watch movies. Um, And, like, there's, like, scenes in this movie where people, where you legit see people making a movie and the shots that they're making in the film. So... So, pretty much, a guy's making a movie where people, and the scenes where a guy's making a movie where people are making movies. It's kind of breaking the fourth wall, but it is awesome. I love that stuff in this film. And, um, the climactic battle is amazing. Well, it's not really a battle, but, like, the third act is so good. Very funny, like I said. And it kind of utilizes some stuff that you see in, like, the opening, like, 15 minutes of this movie. This movie's very long. Which you can expect from a Quentin Tarantino movie. Some of his movies are almost three hours long. I think the extended version of Hateful Eight is like three hours and seven minutes. But, um, just his storytelling is also amazing in the film. And some of the extended talky scenes. Okay, Brad Pitt is my favorite part of this film. I absolutely love Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie. But Brad Pitt gets a scene... That's like 20, 25 minutes long of him just at this like camp. And he like looks at all these houses and stuff. 
and it just like gives and it was quite suspenseful actually it was very funny like i said and it was just and it just like characters get those moments that you remember in this movie so i really love this movie i absolutely love this movie it is my second favorite movie of the year i only have one nitpick with this film and it's a tiny nitpick my only sort of flaw with once upon a time in hollywood is that there are some scenes in the film where they just have some scenes with characters that don't really get a payoff in the film that you don't really want but it's kind of just okay here's a new character and i don't say the film gets convoluted or the script gets convoluted it just is like okay here's another character just kind of to make um the runtime longer so there is a tiny bit of drag whenever you kind of meet a new character in my opinion so i'd say the movie is about maybe 15 10 minutes longer than it should be but it's still a fantastic movie in my opinion this is my second favorite movie of the year behind Endgame, it knocked out Toy Story 4, it knocked out Us, John Wick 3, Spider-Man 4 from Home, my ranking is so different right now, I really love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I will give it a solid A, go see this movie, it is fantastic, so yeah, sure, come like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.